It turns out that one of the planet's most potentially dangerous volcanoes, which is located in Europe, has the potential to produce eruptions in order of magnitude more explosive than previously thought in its current stage of activity. What I am referring to is a populated volcanic island within Greece, which is home to 15,000 people. Known as Santorini, it is most famous for producing one of human history's largest explosive eruptions in 1610 BCE. That eruption killed tens of thousands, created widespread tsunamis in the Mediterranean Sea, may have even led to the downfall of a prominent Bronze Age civilization known as the Minoans, and led to the formation of a 7.1 mile or 11.5 kilometer wide caldera. That collapse marked the end of a cycle of eruptive activity which Santorini has undergone at least six times in the last 530,000 years, with each cycle ending in a highly explosive caldera collapse event. In contrast, the beginning of these cycles which we are in right now is considered to be the least explosive time at the volcano, where only small to medium-sized moderately explosive eruptions refill a section of the collapse block in the caldera's center. Between 197 BCE and 1950, nine such eruptions have occurred. These eruptions constructed two separate islands via overlapping flows of highly viscous dacite composition lava, Palea Kameni and Nia Kameni. Since each cycle takes a minimum of 17,000 years to complete and we are currently in the very earliest stages of its latest cycle, the thought was that if Santorini was to erupt again anytime soon, a worst case scenario would be approximately the size of its largest post-caldera eruption, in other words, its 726 CE eruption. While such a hypothetical eruption would still be quite destructive and likely lead to the evacuation of everyone who lives on Santorini, major damage such an event could cause would likely be completely confined to structures at the bottom of the caldera rim. However, a recent scientific paper published by J. Prine and others has indicated that the 726 CE eruption was in reality approximately 24 times larger than previously thought. Instead of just barely reading in as a low NVEI-4, it read it as a low to mid NVEI-5 which ejected 3.1 cubic kilometers of tephra. The reason why its eruptive products were underestimated for so long relates to the eruption in question likely being fairly similar to the 2021 eruption of Fukutoku Okanoba in Japan. In other words, it was surprisingly ash poor given the eruption size, with most of its explosively erupted material instead being deposited on the sea floor. Why is this so important? Simply put, it means that scientific models, hazard models, and evacuation plans related to the Santorini volcano need to be remade as the volcano is capable of producing an eruption far larger than previously modeled. Although the paper I am referencing does not mention each of these points, I am using my interpretation of the data to outline a few notable differences in terms of possible effects of VEI-5 rather than previously modeled VEI-4 eruption called calls from Santorini. Feel free to pause this video now to read these potential differences. And now, here is a brief summary and possible timeline of events for the mid-July 726 CE eruption. My interpretation as to why this eruption was so explosive relates purely to where the vent which erupted was located. It appears that every time a new vent emerges underwater within Santorini's caldera, at least in the last 2500 years, that an eruption has the potential to produce either a highly explosive VEI-3, 4, or 5 eruption. However, if an eruption instead occurs on one or both of the pre-existing volcanic islands or on its edge, then it does not have the potential to be highly explosive. Thus, as more events emerge over time, these types of highly explosive eruptions should technically become less common. In summary, this new report is not a reason to panic and there is no indication that Santorini will produce an eruption anytime soon, nor does it mean that Santorini is unsafe. Hey, I would willingly live in Santorini. Instead, the report simply means that old scientific models and evacuation zones for a worst case scenario will need to be remade, and that tsunami insurance for businesses and homes might go up a negligible amount due to these findings. As a final note, I would like to thank my new patron Christine Bartholomew and family for supporting this channel.